What's going on, YouTube? It's the Dang775, just a my boy in Texas, back with another video. Today I'll be unboxing a few products. You already know, you folks saw the title. I'll be unboxing the LG G7. Thing is, before I unbox the LG G7, I'm gonna do uh, unboxing of a few other items related to that LG G7, so it's not just the phone. And you folks wondering where is my review for the Steel Series Arctis 3 headset, gaming headset, console edition, console edition gaming headset, and my Duke Hyperkin Xbox controller review. That's coming tomorrow, Sunday or Monday. I figured I'd push this video out first because it's gonna take me a full week at least to review the phone. So first off, <laughs> put this over here. Um, I got the Delta Shield, okay, body armor. This is a screen protector. And you folks know I buy and sell used phones all the time. Craigslist, eBay, Swappa.com, wherever. And I tell you what, the screen is the important, most important thing of the phone. You mess up this screen, no one's gonna buy your phone, or they'll buy it for significantly less than what you want. So this is not a hard screen protector, this is a flexible one. Um, for the most part, I noticed I've been very careful with my phones, the last few phones that I've had. Um, and I, I'm gonna trust going without a tempered glass screen protector. So this is what comes in the in this box right here, the Delta Shield. Okay, it comes with your screen protection. You get two of them, the two pack. Okay, you got your uh, screen cleaner. You got your little um, air bubble remover. So once you got your screen on there, you remove the air bubbles and whatnot. And you got your installation video right here. <laughs> Please see our installation video for instructions before you begin. I suggest you folks who don't know how, who've never um, done uh, screen installation on your phones, check the video out. Or those of you who have only had minor experience, check it out as well. And I'm pretty sure this is a wet install. Yep, this is a wet install. So you guaranteed you're gonna need the video, okay? So. If you don't know what you're doing, check out the video or let someone else who knows how to install stuff like that do it, okay? You can easily mess it up. And for a case, I went with Spigen, okay, for the LG G7 ThinQ. Um, Spigen, the main reason why I wanted this, I wanted to keep it simple black because the phone, the LG G7 that I got was a black, Aurora Black it's called. I wanted to keep it simple and it's got, what do you call that? I didn't want like a fingerprint magnet and whatnot, and I wanted to work on wireless charging. And this case will work with wireless charging. So let's take a quick look at that. And it's very fairly simple. Oh, and by the way, the LG G7 does not support fast wireless charging like the Samsung devices and iPhones. See, look at this case. It's fair. It's fairly simple. It's it's TPU rubber. Okay, I'm kind of concerned that might dampen the speaker sound on the bottom of the LG G7. I'm slightly concerned. I'm not that worried, you know. I mean, the speaker sound is not going to be the main focus, but it is a big plus. I've heard the LG G7 speaker is really good, even though it's a single down-firing speaker. And this is the UTIC wireless charger. Okay, everything I talk about in this video will be listed down below. This is all for my LG G7. Now, this is a UTEC wireless charger. You can use this for your devices like the Gen uh, Samsung Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, other devices that sport wireless charging. Um, that's pretty much what came in the box. I think there's paperwork in here. And there's paperwork and instructions. So, hold on to the instructions. Okay. So the instructions right here, how output to 5 watt, 7.5 watt, and 10 watt, how, how will this work? And it tells you plain as day right here. So I know for a fact the LG G7 has wireless charging, but it's not fast charging. So this is more like an overnight thing if I'm going to use this with my LG G7 or my LG V30. Now Google Pixel does not have wireless charging. I have, uh, my Pixel 2 XL, which I'm kind of disappointed. You know, Google, come on, get on the ball. 2018. And, you know... People are gonna say wireless charging is a gimmick, but yeah, I I, I can un I can see that. Thing is, you know, if you got, he's gonna charge something overnight, like majority of people out there do. Uh, come home from work, all you gotta do is just drop your phone there on wherever you know your nightstand and whatnot, and that's it. Let it go overnight; it'll be done in the morning. So I finally jumped on the wireless charging um, wireless charging um, bandwagon. 
and I think I'm gonna enjoy it. Okay, I no, don't get me wrong. I'll use my fat my LG G7 stock charger to charge it when I need um, juice really quickly. You know, if I got like 10-20 minutes to charge it, I'll stick it on that charger, no problem. But wireless charging is gonna help. So those were my accessories for my LG G7 that I'm gonna be using mainly. Okay, because I'm gonna be replacing my Google Pixel 2 XL. My my Pixel 2 XL will become my backup phone. Okay. So I'm gonna test this out for seven days. Actually, I'm gonna play with it for a month. So now let's get to the piece de resistance. My LG G7 Q. Now people are thinking, hmm, why'd you go with the LG G7? It's more expensive than something like say Samsung Galaxy S9, which sells unlocked $719. That's a good question. Well, I actually got it, the LG G7, for six hundred and or is it six hundred and forty six hundred fifty dollars okay there was a promo code online um, I got it for twenty seven a month the only drawback is is that this phone is with Verizon okay and that's the LG G7 when I say drawback being with Verizon that means there's gonna be a Verizon bloatware on here I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a Verizon boot logo when I say boot logo, you know, when you turn the phone on, it's going to be big old ugly Verizon there. You know, it, to get the discount, you do have to deal with the devil sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, there it is, the LG G7. And you folks been following my channel, or who haven't been following my channel, why do I refer to Verizon as the big devil? Because they are. <laughs> They're dicks. They can be. But look at this. It looks, well, well I don't want to drop it. That's the LG G7. Thin Q. Okay. Wow. This thing is nice. And I'm gonna like the contrast. Look how big it is compared to my LG uh my Google Pixel 2 XL. Who was this phone by the way was made by LG. Keep in mind, it's almost the same company that made the Google Pixel 2 XLs. They made the LG uh the LG made these phones. So <laughs> the same company that worked with Google. So I'm not going to be missing much here, okay? So that's that. Look at that. Look at that. It looks. Let me get this plastic off. Ah! I almost dropped it. I almost dropped it. There you go. That's the phone. Look at that. Fingerprint magnet and all. So what's this? Look at that. 3.5 millimeter jack. Okay, and there's a good reason why it's there. I'll get more into that later. And it, I like the fact that it comes with a nice little wipey cloth so you can wipe it down and whatnot. So, I got my LG G7. Let's take a look what's in the box before I go, before I continue with the video. So, you get your LG two year promise, okay? When people talk about LG phones, one thing comes to mind is that the, the LG G4 boot loop okay a ton of people that had the LG G4 had that infinite boot loop thing and a lot of them had um, had that infinite boot loop pop up after a year or longer of having the phone and they were pretty much shit out of luck now LG noticing that 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 mess up they did LG has given us a two-year promise saying that this phone um, Committed, uh, I'll read it verbatim, LG is committed to giving you peace of mind. We're confident in the quality of our premium devices. And that along with the manufacturer's first year limited warranty, we offer a free second year limited warranty coverage upon registration. Plus enjoy service experience that gets you a replacement phone quickly. So props to LG. Now make sure you register your phone when you get it. Okay. So... And this, this is, I'm assuming this is your paperwork and book and that your SIM ejection toolkit. You're going to need that. And get your books and stuff, you can just toss them to the side or whatnot, whatever. You... And here is the fast charger, the USB, wall, USB Type-C wall charger, and the USB Type-C charging cable. And that's pretty much it. That's a done deal. Okay, so I'm going to put my information into this phone, get it set up, and I'm going to do a little jump cut right here. Okay, folks, I'm back. Uh, it took me a good 30 to 40 minutes to get my phone set up. Uh, so there it is, the LG G7. 
and right now it's on 60% brightness and you see you got that little notch on the top of the screen there you know for the camera I don't care about it a lot of people are gonna throw fit you can actually get rid of the notch if you wanted to there's like a um, you can go into the settings and change it and take the notch out but I'm just gonna leave it there because I don't it doesn't bother me now it's at 60 69 percent brightness okay uh, first off when I got this phone set up I forgot how much bloatware L like Verizon and LG stuff have on their phones I deleted a ton of games that were on there Final Fantasy 15 and all that I don't play that garbage any type of mobile game is garbage to me I'm a console guy console gamer then PC gamer then if worse comes to worse I'll eventually play games on my phone and if it, it's always gonna be slots I love slot machines <laughs> okay um, but first off looking at the screen right off the bat okay that's the Google Pixel 2 XL screen now keep in mind the same company that's full brightness for the Pixel 2 XL this is 69% for the LG G7 thank you watch when I turn up the brightness all the way up It, I can't stress the fact that both these phones are really bright at full full brightness now when you go outside in the sunlight if you had the full brightness on both these phones you should be able to see them fine but the LG 7 what I like it has a boost mode okay you can boost the brightness of the screen you click that and that's boost mode and you click it off again and you click it off it goes back to normal and you click it on can you see that difference it's a big difference and I did a quick check outside my house with the boost mode on I mean the sun's blazing down like 95 degree weather after a few days of apocalyptic weather uh, rain thunder now it's super bright I went outside you can clearly see your phone outside on a sunny day with the LG G7 um, the screen is an LCD of course not an AMOLED you know it's not gonna pop as much as say something like a Samsung Galaxy S9 S9 Plus but it is going to be sufficient for 95% of the people out there. Now, let's see what else about this phone. This phone has a oh, get this I turn off this auto stuff. This phone has a assistant button right here. It's not a power button, it's it's an assistant button. Now, I think I'm going to use this button more often because on the Google Pixel, I, I noticed I've been using the squeeze factor. You squeeze it and it pops up, you know, Assistant, uh, Google Assistant pops up. So you press it once, Google Assistant pops up there. Okay, then you long press it. Uh, oh, I, I haven't even set it up. Oops. I gotta set this thing up. Jump cut! Okay, I had... I set up the Google Assistant button and like I said before um, the Google Pixel 2 XL has a squeeze feature from HEC since Google did buy out HEC so this Pixel 2 XL is like a combination of LG's best and HTC's best and Google's software in the middle now this is plain strictly LG and I like this Assistant button right here you press the button and your Google Assistant pops up where, where this you have for the Pixel 2 XL, you squeeze it and your Google uh, Assistant Here's pops up. Found. And she's trying to answer me already. <laughs> and I like it. I do use Google Assistant for a lot of things. You know, make set alarms, whatnot. Um, check, check for um, weather. You know, ask the weather and whatnot. Very convenient, especially when you're driving and whatnot. You know, where you can't really, you know, you have to keep an eye on the wheel. Um, it's a quick, a quick press of the Google button or a squeeze of the phone. You can get your information by talking to Google. Okay, see what else about the phone that I think is unique. Now I tested out some of the apps. Okay, now um, this has a Snapdragon 845 and a 630 GPU, Adreno GPU. I'm pretty sure it's 630. So it's it's more of a it. It's not so much a lateral, it is an upgrade over the Pixel 2 XL because the Pixel 2 XL has a Snapdragon 835 and I think it has Adreno 530. Pretty sure it's one step down. I've noticed that I've been launching apps. The apps have, some some apps have la been launching faster on the LG G7 than my Pixel 2 XL and a few few apps, I mean very few apps 
have been launching faster on the Pixel 2 XL. Now when it comes to smoothness so far, now these are first impressions, I am going to do an in-depth review. First impressions, these... That's my little one, my little cat there. First impressions, this thing is fast. Okay, it's wicked fast, wicked smooth. Props to LG, they've improved their software, um, their their the UI and whatnot. The thing is, this is not the LG stock UI. If you folks are looking, at, let me turn the brightness down because it's it's getting, it's killing. There you go. That's a better picture. That's not the stock LG UI. I got Nova Prime on there, my Nova skin already on there. Hence, I I, I got my three things in the middle there. My three little things. Uh, th that's how I set my phone up. Wherever I go, phone, tablet, wherever I go in the Android ecosystem, that's how I got my thing set up. Now, the main reason why I have this phone, again, I'm an audio guy. So let's take a listen to the audio. Now, it's got a single down firing speaker here, which is quite a disappointment because LG support this speaker is actually quite good and quite loud compared to the LG V30. It's almost night and day. Now when my um, I do the review video, I'm gonna compare this to the V30. I'm gonna grab my wife's V30, borrow the phone a little while, and I'm gonna do a comparison to the G7 Thin, thin Q or whatever. So let's listen to a quick clip of music real quick. If I can find the music app. I haven't, I didn't set that, okay, there you go. Recently added three songs, okay. Okay, the volume buttons are on the left if the phone is facing you, okay? The volume button, the system button. There you go, full volume. It's okay. I mean, it sounds pretty loud. It's got a decent sound. The phone does vibrate. You can feel it. Um, especially if you turn up to full volume, it vibrates in your hand. So when I stick a case on it, it might smother that some of that oomph, that the bass and the sound that it puts out. Not by much, I think. It's not gonna really make that uh, that big of a difference. Um, but I'm gonna be using a TPU case now if you were to use something like a hard case that that probably wouldn't do anything to the sound but like a TPU case might okay I say might I don't know yet um, I'll know within seven days because I have this TPU case from Spigen uh, that I'm gonna be um, putting on this phone and I have not tested it out with a set of headphones let hold on let me get a set of headphones The main reason, okay, for me, why getting this phone is the portable DAC that's in here, the quad DAC, and I got a perfect set of headphones to test it out on. You folks haven't seen me test this, um, do a review on this. I was supposed to do a review on it, but I just never got the time, got around to it. This is the Archmage on-ear wired set of headphones, okay? This thing is pretty good and it only costs 22 bucks, okay? Link will be down in the description if you folks want to check this out. As you can see, I had it hooked up to my LG, uh, to my Google Pixel 2 XL. You see that dongle? Now I can just remove this dongle and yes, I carry this around because it comes with a hard case or it com and it also comes with one of these cases so you can take it on the go. So I was quite impressed by the sound of these things and these are on air so they're going to be light okay you're not going to even it's, it's going to be like they're not even there. So I'm going to go ahead and test these out and let you folks get a quick sample because it really does make a difference with the quad DAC. There we go. <laughs> See there you go sound quality customized, customized audio the way you like to hear and the setting setting by setting various sound effects okay I'm gonna put don't show this again so I'm gonna do my little EQ thing I don't know how to do it oh, okay there we go now we now we're cooking Okay. 
I forgot to adjust it. I got a fat head. There you go. Not bad, right? I thought so. I had to do a little jump cut in there because I had to set the thing up, you know, I played with the settings and whatnot. And I am impressed, okay? They got a quad, this thing got a deck. Okay, so it's pretty much the same thing that the LG V30 got now on here. And I've also tested it out with Bluetooth, okay? And this has APXTHD audio. I'm pretty sure it does. So it's slightly better. I think the V30 has it as well, but for most phones out there, they don't have the Bluetooth, um, what do you call that, that codec, HP, AP, APTX HD, whatever, whatever they call it. Um, there's APTX and APTX HD audio. This has it, okay? So you can hear a difference, slight, slight difference. If you guys, especially coming from an older phone, like, uh, I don't know, Galaxy S6, um, S5, whatever older phone you're coming from, this is gonna improve your sound game, your audio quality game, um, perfectly. Okay, and I did make a few calls. Okay, mostly my wife, you know, test call and whatnot. I also called my favorite liquor store, Feldman's, asked them what time they close, and it did wonderful there as well. I could hear them clearly; they could hear me. It was good. The, this phone is first impressions is amazing. It's really good. I like it. Okay, now you, there's a bunch of ways you can get it. Now, Amazon, I think, doesn't have it for pre-order yet, but I'll leave a link if there is down there below. Um, I also know that b, b and H Photo, they also have this phone on sale, the unlocked version. Um, if you can, get the unlocked version. All right. Project Phi, it also has this phone coming. They have the LG G17Q and the LG V35, I think. Okay, V35 is a beefed up version of the V30, so you can go either way there. You're going to win-win. You're in a win-win situation. All right. Worst case scenario, you have to go through Verizon. But if you go through online, you do get the phone for 650. Okay, and that's over a 24 month period. You, you'll pay like 27 dollars a month. And I know a lot of people don't care for Verizon, but United States Verizon is the largest carrier, and they're the biggest carrier for a reason. Their coverage, their coverage has the best coverage out of any carrier out there. Okay, I drive across the country, you know, three, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand miles a year across the country front and back um, you know from the mid central middle part of America to the west coast okay every year and it has me covered Verizon's got me covered so no phone out there no matter how good is gonna get me to switch from Verizon even though they're the devil themselves I hate to say it but yeah look for my phone review of the LG G7 ThinQ um, coming in seven days so far the brightness um, the functionality, the 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 how fast it is. Okay, it, this this phone is fast. Okay, if you're coming from an S5, S6, heck, even an iPhone 6 or something, you're gonna notice a difference, big time. Now, if you're you're coming from some something like a Galaxy S8 or an iPhone 7 or something, iPhone 8, you might not notice a difference because a lot of people are not gonna notice that millisecond or microsecond of a difference like us guys who or folks that change their phones out every two to three months but yeah this is my unboxing on my LG G7 thank you and it's variety of accessories if you folks are interested in those any of these products all the links will be listed down below and remember if you folks take a look at those links and you buy anything those that income goes directly back to the channel to purchase more products to review for you folks okay and all of this was done with my own money. It's not sponsored. Okay? It's not. But this is Gedang 775, just a mile boy in Texas. Look for my review video again. I can um, next week, seven days from now, this review video will be up. This is Gedang 775, just a mile boy in Texas. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos every few days. If you didn't like this video, hit that dislike button. Let me know in the comments down below. I do appreciate the criticism. Skidang775. Thanks for watching. Oh.